Today, we will talk about jewelry floaters and how they work with insurance. A jewelry floater is supplemental insurance used to protect valuable jewelry. It can provide additional coverage beyond what is offered by standard insurance policies like homeowners or renters insurance. This makes it a popular choice for individuals with expensive or rare jewelry. A jewelry floater can be added to a homeowner's insurance policy to protect against financial loss from damage, theft, or loss of valuable jewelry. This type of additional coverage is often chosen by individuals with sizable or noteworthy jewelry collections that would exceed the maximum coverage level under their basic policy. In some cases, floaters are also purchased for other valuable assets like fine art, high-end watches, and collectibles. For example, a jewelry collector like Taylor may choose to take out a jewelry floater to ensure that their valuable and rare collection is fully protected. By obtaining a professional appraisal and incorporating it into their new insurance policy, Taylor can have peace of mind knowing that the insurance company understands and accepts the actual replacement value of their insured jewelry. Yes, homeowners or renters insurance policies typically cover jewelry theft, but only up to certain limits. For example, it may cover up to $1,500 or $2,000. In contrast to standard homeowner's insurance, a jewelry floater can cover a broader range of damage to your jewelry. This may include theft, loss, or other types of damage that would not be covered by a basic policy. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Jewelry floaters are a type of supplemental insurance intended to protect valuable jewelry. 2. These types of add-on insurance policies are common for a range of valuable personal possessions. 3. To obtain a jewelry floater, it may be necessary to pay for a professional appraisal beforehand. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.